All right, guys, back here at SHOT Show. We got Dan here with the level four regular size MRAPs. He's using it with the quick release um, and quick dawn horse collar. If you notice, Dan, turn around for me. All right, on the addition of the horse collar or the quick, uh, quick dawn collar, he's got the belt keeper strap. What that does is that cinches some of the weight off his shoulders, off his neck, attaches it to his hips and his belt line or his duty belt. Uh, he can run this level four shield independently without the Reaper. And as you notice right now, go ahead and face the camera for me, it's hanging pretty much at the height he wants it. So if he needs to raise it up, if he wants to go ahead and shoulder his rifle in the rifle mount, he can shoulder it. A lot of the weight is actually extended out on his shoulder, his lower back and his hips from that strap. And he can run the rifle independently. Again, it's got the adjustable updated handle system. It's Reaper optimized, so you can use the Reaper with the system if you've got that time to set the Reaper up. If you've got a deliberate assault, uh, warrant service, whatever it may be, and you've got time to set that up, you can do so. If you don't, you're responding to a critical event, active shooter, something like that. You can just throw this bad boy over your neck and go do work. Um, turn sideways for me. So the nice thing about this quick on collar is he's also got a quick release. Should he have to get out of the system, set the shield down, get the shield, get rid of the shield, go hands on with something, he can sling his rifle, support the shield, and in here he's just gonna pull a red tab quick release and the whole shield disengages completely. Now all he has is the horse collar, the quick don around his neck, he can set the shield down, he can pass it off to another assaulter and he can continue to do whatever work is necessary. So again, same size, regular size shield, personal size really for individual assaulter or uh, officer, and that is a level, multi-hit level four. Uh, you can go to YouTube and check out some of the torture tests we've done on this shield. It is absolutely incredible, the, uh, the punishment that it'll stop. All right, so we got Dan set up again with the level four regular size MRAPs uh, hooked into the Reaper. Now, Baker is offering a series of accessories that you can mount to the MRAP shield. Uh, this is actually the brainchild of Dan. It's a, a rapid reload system for your rifle, uh, mounted directly to the frame. Gives you an additional magazine mounted to the mounted to the shield itself. Uh, Dan, go ahead and give a little demo on it. So automatically, Dan was prep bolt lock simulating. You've run dry bolt lock reload. Depresses magazine release. Magazine falls the spare magazine or your reloads mounted in the carrier itself. Rifle slides down onto the magazine and there's a component built into this to hit your bolt lock or your bolt release and send that bolt forward on its own and you're back up. Again, just another option. Uh, this is still a prototype in its final stages of design, but be on the lookout for um, the rail system and the reload system, as well as other accessories coming out from Baker Ballistics in the future. So Martina has the level three plus regular size MRAPs designed for an individual assaulter or operator. Um, as you can see, level three plus, it's outfitted with the, uh, the additional light accessory, which works in uh, full, full motion or strobe. It comes with the rifle rest, so she can go ahead and shoulder her rifle. Go ahead and put your rifle up there for me, Martina. And she can rest the rail system or the handguard right in that rifle rest. Now your shield operator is also an assaulter. We're making a shield offensive. It's not just a de defensive uh, bullet sponge anymore. Now we can have a single person carrying a multi-hit rifle rated shield with a rifle. They're their own cover man or woman in this case. Go ahead and put your rifle down for me. Um, as you can see, Martina is not using a Reaper system to support this shield. The three plus in this configuration is 15 pounds. So it's not, not the heaviest thing in the world. She's carrying it up. She's a little tiny bitty thing. She's got the additional horse collar, which supports the shield as well. And all she's got to do is control the elevation and angle of the shield. If she needs to let it hang, she can let it hang around her neck. If she needs to get away, it's got the quick release. You can cut away from it and it's got the adjustable handle that you can set up for any angle whatsoever. Um, again, this is set up for Reaper optimization. So if you wanted to run this with a Reaper, you could run this with a Reaper as well. It's designed with the brand new handle system built on the, uh, the crumple honeycomb backstop. So the handle is not directly bolted in or through the shield. So the handle will never shear off 
if the shield is getting impacted with rounds. Again, this is the regular size level three plus, uh, Baker level three plus MRAPs. All right, guys, so we're here with Tim Russell from Advanced Accuracy Solutions. He's running the XL level four MRAPs outfitted with what's called the Rock. Now, the Rock is a 3A panel that can be mounted to the front of the, uh, the MRAPs. All right, if you happen to get shot with pistol rated ammo, now you're not damaging your expensive multi hit rifle rated MRAPs, and all you got to do is replace the Rock. Also, each of the MRAPs comes outfitted with hook and loop at the top, so you have a variety of mounting options for tablets, cameras, whatnot. Uh, Tim on this one has essentially an iPad mounted to the top of it with a thermal camera. This allows him to stay behind the shield entirely and still see what's in front. This allows me as his cover man or his teammate stacked behind him to look over his shoulder and see what he sees without having to poke my head off. It's good if you're moving up and doing explosive breaching or working a long corridor or a hallway. He's using the external pack frame, which is like an exoskeleton fully adjustable to run the Reaper. The bigger, heavier shield in this configuration, you need a little bit more support. Um, again, Reaper set up, it's balanced for the weight of this shield, all right? You can change out the gas pistons for different weight, different size shields, different weight of weapon systems. Turn toward me, Tim, for me. All right, so on this shield, he's got the ballistic rock or the B-rock, it's 3A protection. Nice thing about the B-rock is you can actually deploy it and drop it down lower. So Tim, go ahead, pull that down. Now he's got some lower leg protection against ricochets, skipping rounds off. He can run that. The other cool thing about the rock, go ahead and sling your weapon for me, is I can come up as a teammate and I can clip out. And now I can take the rock and use it as a separate 3A panel if I need to, if we need to separate and I need additional protection to the shield. Um, again, in the full size Reaper, the handle's fully configurable, fully adjustable. You can adjust it for a right-handed or left-handed shooter pretty much on the fly. It allows for hands-free operation too. If you need to go hands-off, hands-on, adjust your weapon, fix a malfunction. He's got no hands on the shield right now and it's just sitting at the level he wants it. With the Reaper and the proper pistons, you make that shield neutrally buoyant. You're not holding the shield anymore. You're simply adjusting the angle of coverage that you want. Uh, Multi-hit, rifle rated, level four protection, fully man portable, making shields offensive now instead of defensive. Uh, you have an assaulter with a shield with additional options, accessories, cameras, the whole nine yards. Fully, fully um, modular system for you. All right, so we're here with Andy Butler from Advanced Accuracy Solutions. He's got the full size or the XL um, level three plus plus MRAPs. He's also using the Reaper to support it. All right, as you get into the bigger shields, the higher ballistic rating, the three plus plus, the level fours, I don't care how big and how strong you are, you're gonna get fatigued supporting this thing after a while, especially if you're covering high on a stairwell, an overlook, uh, a walkway or something. So he's got the Reaper, which is supporting the shield itself. All he's doing is moving it left and right. The extra large shield is a great size. If you've got to go do a, a injured officer recovery, um, go a, it, it drop a throw phone, you're doing an open air assault. Um, the XL allows extra coverage, a little bit more ballistic protection. As you can see, it still comes with the rifle rest. It comes with the quick don uh, that you can throw on over your neck as a redundant measure from the Reaper. Should the cable on the, of the Reaper get shot or broken, the Reaper, Reaper sleeves through the body armor itself, so you don't have to wear an additional pack frame. You can mount your uh, sleeve right to the top of your kit and your bottom sleeve to your battle belt. You can see it has no issues clearing uh, at the clearance of a ballistic helmet. We run these things with nods on the whole nine yards and there's no issues. Um, it's set up, you can mount a, a tablet or a camera on the hook and loop on the backside so you can record your assault, save that for uh, training purposes, evidence, whatever it may be. The adjustable handle on the crumple zone honeycomb so there's no back face deformation and you're not gonna shear that handle off. Again, a little bit more ballistic uh, capability, a larger size, better suited for open air stuff rather than interior CQB. All right, so again, 
Andy here, still with the level 3++ plus plus XL size, but now instead of using the Reaper, he's actually using the Quick Don collar. As you can see, goes around the back of his neck, keep turning around for me Andy, goes around the back of his neck, clips into his belt. You adjust it for the tension that you want and then it hangs, it's got some bungee uh, in it to help it balance that shield a little bit, keep coming around toward me and he can support the shield. If you notice, we have the standoff pads right here that he can adjust, you can move around so your forearm is gonna rest and it's gonna give that shield the tilt that it needs. Keep spinning around, yep, keep going back for me. All right, so still very manageable, all right, uh, without the Reaper, but obviously extended periods of time, I don't care who you are, you're gonna start fatiguing a little bit. Um, Andy can go ahead, take a knee, he's very mobile, it's very accurate. The rifle's very stabilized. Stand on up. Yep, he's, um, give a little shout out to Adam's arms, all right? That's their P2, it's a pistol, piston-driven pistol. And they loaned us some high-speed blasters for this demo. But again, whether you're using the Reaper, whether you're using the Quick Don collar, maybe you don't have time to set the Reaper up, it's a critical incident, an active shooter, and you're just grabbing this bad boy out of the trunk, throwing the Quick Don over your shoulder, um, and going to do work. He can take his arms off of it completely, let it hang from his shoulders, shake his arms out, shake that forearm pump out, and go back and do work if he needs to. Either way, it's a very modular system, gives you a lot of versatility, a lot of options, whether it's a deliberate assault on a warrant and you can set, set the Reaper up, you have time, or it's a critical incident and you're rolling in with a couple of guys and you're just throwing that quick Don collar over your neck.